This is probably one of the most interesting vehicles we've ever worked on for the Safari. Uh, this is a battery electric vehicle. So it it's, doesn't have a gas engine anymore. That's been removed. And to be clear, it's a retrofit. We started with a uh, two-door Jeep Rubicon. There are a multitude of batteries in this vehicle. And the whole reason for doing this was just to see what does a battery electric Jeep do in the off-road environment of Moab? Magneto is set to be kind of a test bed for us to answer those questions that we have curiosities about. We left the, the great Jeep articulating suspension in place. It has the, the Rubicon axles, the Dana 44s front and rear. The transfer case, the four to one Rubicon transfer case stays in place. And uh, most notably, the six speed manual stays in place. And the reason we did that was to um, we get kind of the best of both worlds of the automatic transmission off-road and the manual transmission. So off-road, I can do lots of gear selection with, with the manual transmission, including the low range. I don't have to worry about the clutch, so I get the direct feel of a manual transmission off-road, uh, but the ease of drivability of the automatic transmission. The, uh, the fact that you don't have to slip the clutch to get over rocks or et cetera like that because the engine can't stall. When the power, uh, the torque is delivered, it's early, uh, down low before the, the vehicle revs up. Interesting, uh, usually when things go bad uh, off-road, you rely on the power of an electric winch to, to get you out of a bad situation.